Hello and welcome to my video. Today I want to show you how to turn your kids drawings into sticker sheets inside Silhouette Studio. So this is our final product. You can see I have a lot of small stickers in one sticker sheet and I'm using different images from different drawings to put this together. So the first things first, I'm using the free version of the Silhouette Studio. If I open the about page, you can see it's called the Silhouette Studio Basic Edition and you can download this from free from the Silhouette website. And the cool thing is you don't even have to own your color. So what you can do is you can download this application, you can spend few days or even weeks trying to learn this application and when the time comes and you purchase your own cutter, you will have something prepared which you can immediately start printing and cutting which is of course great. Okay, so let's close this dialog and I will create a new document. So I will select file, new and I assume here that you already have some kind of uh, images on your hard drive, on your computer and they could be scanned using your scanner or maybe your printer has a scanner or maybe you take the pictures with your cell phone or even camera whatever works for you it's really not a big difference i already have a few of those images scanned so i will select file merge and you can see inside this folder i have a few images now some of those images will work perfectly fine and some of those will not what we are looking for is trying to find an image or you know piece of the image which has a lot of plenty space around so for example this one, we have like three different dinosaurs or whatever it is. They are very close to each other and we would have hard times trying to separate those. Whereas here we have two different dogs and maybe a parrot. We have a little bit of space around those individual you know, characters so we can perfect it will be perfectly fine to use this one. Actually let's try to use this one. So I will hit OK and it will be imported into Silhouette Studio. Now at this point we can of course print it but the Silhouette Studio doesn't know where to cut it so we have to tell where to cut those images what I will do is I will use the trace panel I will open the trace panel on the right side so open the trace panel and I will select select trace area and draw a rectangle around this dark right so now you'll see a lot of small pieces we don't have to really care about those because we will be using only the outer path the probably the only most of the time the only slider which you have to care about is this threshold which just says you know if we want to pick only the very dark areas or if we want to also pick the light ones so only the dark ones or also the light ones i will probably go with around like like so like this and this time i will you also use the scale now the scale is a little bit not very intuitive because as i'm increasing the scale i'm actually decreasing the resolution of the image so as i'm as i'm moving this to the right side i'm losing details which is actually what i want in this case because there are a lot of small details i don't want the path to be very complex so i'll actually increase the scale a little bit to lose a little bit of details and make the path you know a little bit smoother like so now what I will do is I will select trace outer edge with, which will only take the outer edge of our drawing. So click this one and if I move this image to the left side you can see we have a nice outer path for our for our cutting. Now if I would just use this for the cutting, if I zoom in, you will see that I will lose a lot of details because the black lines are perfectly fine but there is a lot of you know overstroke, you know, not very precise filling of the shape but this is actually what I like. So what I like to do is I would like to expand this line a little bit so i'll select this line and click this uh, offset panel and just uh, select offset and maybe increase the distance a little bit more like so hit apply i will select the first line and just delete it hitting the delete key on my keyboard now at this point i can move this image back and i can print it and cut it it will be perfectly fine but it will be a little bit harder to create a sticker sheet out of this and the reason is I have one huge image you know it will be hard to position other images so they will not be touching or overlapping so what I would like to do is I would like to separate actually this dock from this big image and the way I do it is I select the path again and I will change the fill on the left side to black then I will jump to the trace panel again so I'll again select the trace panel select the trace area and select the very same area now it will be picking perfectly fine just because it's almost it's almost like a black and white image and this time i will click trace and detach i'm actually not changing any of those settings i will just click trace and detach and what happens is i will show you in a in a minute so if i zoom in a little bit i can move this image to the left side and you can see there is a hole in the image i can move this to the top this is our cut path and i can move this to the bottom this is our separated image now you can see I get a lot of messy lines which I can delete all of those and just delete those. I don't need those. So I have an image and I have the cut line. Now you may be thinking I still need to change this to the no fill 
overlaid on the over the image just so it will be cut properly but actually I don't even need to do this if I jump to the send panel I can click this image and select I want to cut this image and I will, it will have this nice outline same as on the top so what I can do is I can jump to our design page and I can just delete this one I don't need it I only need the dark because again I can click the send I can print it and cut it so this is perfectly fine now I can just resize it to a different size like so maybe I can select object a mirror maybe I can flip it horizontally or vertically if I want if I compare it to our sticker sheet or to my sticker sheet you can see it was already flipped for for my sticker sheet and made a little bit smaller so you can just spend some time trying to position every single element in there now sometimes this rough edge is not what you want you can see it's not that rough but it's not very smooth and sometimes you want much much smoother edge around the images so the second way how to do it we will show it i will show it right now so i will import a different image so i'll select select file merge and maybe this time i want to find some princess maybe maybe this one i will import this image i'll actually move this to the right side and i want to separate this princess so the same principle but this time i will not use the trace panel but i will draw the trace line manually and for this one i will use this which is called the draw a curve shape and i will just keep clicking with my mouse around the shape like so so i will it's almost like cutting with your scissors you know there are no hard edges everything is kind of round and nice so you can really set how this should look like without too much details which is it's also nice for cutting because this line will be cut very very easily and it will just peel off perfectly fine no small details no small areas so again this is our cut line i will select the cut line set the fill to be black fill then i will actually trace it again so select trace area select this area and i will select the trace and detach i will zoom out and i should get the very same element so this is the image with the hole in there this is our cut path but we don't need it and this is our image and a lot of messy stuff so i'll get rid of this messy stuff i will actually get rid of the cut line as well because again for the princess i can jump to the send pane send panel and select the princess and select cut so this will be cut as well so just a few tweaks before we are done you can see it's not actually the white background there's a little bit of blue on the background and maybe you know sometimes you have an option if you are scanning it to apply some auto adjustments i probably didn't apply those auto adjustments so it just pick up a little bit of blue of the background color so i can select this image and jump to the image properties image effects and in here there is this sun which is contrast brightness and saturation and what i can do is i can increase the brightness a little bit you will see it just just a little bit i don't know maybe five six maybe i can increase the contrast a little bit as well maybe the saturation as well like so and then i will hit apply now you can see there is a line which appears out of nothing and in order to get rid of this i will just open this fill or sorry the outline properties and set the outline to no outline and it will just disappear so i will apply the same changes to the dark as well so again i will open the brightness contrast and saturation and set the same values or similar values maybe five five and three or five as well doesn't matter that much those are very small adjustments so hit apply it takes a minute then again select it and set the outline to no outline just so we don't have this outline and you can see we have a nice looking white background for our drawings we can just resize it move it around import more stuff you can see i can really put it very close to each other maybe when i'm when i'm moving this stuff around i can quickly change the outline to some color maybe the black just so i can see that the cut lines are not touching and when i'm happy with the result i can select again set the outline to no outline jump to send pane and we are ready to go so the last thing which you have to do before actually printing in and cutting is to adding the regist registration marks so you will open the page setup and in here jump to the registration marks set the style to be type one in most cases and what i like to do is i like to decrease the inset and length a little bit just to make those a little bit smaller and you are ready to go you can go to the send panel you will select the file print which will print this on your printer then you will feed it back into your silhouette cutter and make sure those cut settings are right so 
usually I go with like 2, 5 and maybe like 20 but you have to set your own settings and one pass for your own sticker sheet or sticker paper and then you will just hit send and cut those stickers and that's it that's how you turn your drawings or your kids drawings or actually any kind of drawings into a nice looking sticker sheet now by the time you are looking at this video i probably have already opened my etsy shop which is on the address cuteandglued.etsy.com this sticker sheet is probably not there but there should be much more cuter or you know other cute uh, stickers out there so please check it out and see you at the next video thank you bye